All right, here we go. I'm at Pro Chevrolet in Sault Ste. Marie today to show you this awesome vehicle right here. This is the newly refreshed 2022 Chevrolet Silverado Trail Boss LT in the new color, the Sand Dune Metallic. We're gonna go over this vehicle from front to back. So let's get going. All right, so here's the deal. Why did I say refresh? Well, if you didn't already know this, for the 2022 model year, Chevy has two different versions of the Chevy Trail Bus. They have what they call the Limited, and now they have this, which is called the Refresh, because it's a newer style of this truck. It's a refresh version of it, a different front end, as well as a different interior, and that's what we're gonna talk about here today. Now, this truck is also a new color, which is called the Sand Dune Metallic Color. It's been a very popular color. We cannot keep these trucks in stock. I mean, obviously, that's just, you know, an issue to begin with right now, but most certainly in this color. Now, what is different about the Chevy Trail Boss? Well, why don't we just talk about what is the Trail Boss to begin with, if you didn't already know this. The Trail Boss, of course, is, you know, one of our off-road version trucks. Not the top anymore, because now we have the Chevy Silverado ZR2, and in the GMC we have the A24X, but, but this is a very, very capable truck, and obviously great looking as well. First and foremost, what makes it different than the rest of the lineup is it does have a two inch factory suspension lift made it with the Rancho name brand shocks underneath there. Not to mention you're gonna get either an 18 or a 20 inch black gloss aluminum wheel wrapped with one of two different tires. Now, the 18 inch tire, this is a 20, the 18 inch tire is gonna get the Goodyear Wrangler Duratrack tire. This one right here is a 20, gloss black 20, so those are Goodyear Wrangler Territory MT tires, which has been actually a very popular tire recently. Getting back to the truck though, however, not to mention the two inch of lift, the different tires, the different wheels, you're gonna get the Z71 package. If you don't know what that is, it's underbody skid plates. Again, with the Rancho name brand shocks, higher intensity air cleaner, you're gonna get the four low range. Um, you know, just a couple different things like that, of course, as far as the off-road package is concerned. Now, the other difference is when you get the Trail Boss, actually come down to color. See the black bumper back here, black door handles, black mirror caps, black front bumper and black grill those are in the black bow ties of course as well those are all signature signatures of the trail boss it has a different look to it and for 2022 the refresh you also get this hood scoop up here this black hood scoop doesn't matter the color of the vehicle it will be black like the rest of the black here now that being said um the 2022 of course like i said limited does not have that hood scoop but it's not a functional hood scoop so it's purely cosmetic purely uh for looks now as far as heading out front here i'll show a picture of the 2022 limited beside this but essentially there's a different front end the uh bow tie looks is, is a lot higher closer up to the um the hood here not to mention you have bigger daytime led uh, driving lights right there uh, with the signals integrated which looks really uh, really cool i think anyways uh, and then of course the trail boss by the way you are going to get the red tow hooks down there fog fog uh, light display uh, placement is a little bit different and he has a kind of this uh grate in front of it which we didn't have in the past and there of course is your engine block heater cable hookup if it's ordered that way in which we do here in canada obviously again i'm here in canada so let's talk about the price of this truck the way this one is equipped canadian is seventy thousand six sixty eight is how much this particular one is. Now, this does not have all the features you can get in this truck. We're gonna talk about that here in a second. But let's just talk about one other thing first. Let's talk about what's underneath this hood because there's a couple different motor options you can get for the 2022 refresh model. In fact, four different motor choices when it comes to, let's just open this up here, the Silverado Trail Boss. Now, this one we're looking at right here is one you see the most often, or you did see the most often, which is the 5.3 liter V8, uh, producing 355 horsepower. It's a great engine, tried and true. But the three other options, of course, number one is you do have the option for the 2.7 liter four cylinder turbo. You have the three liter turbo Duramax, which I love. And of course the monster 6.2 liter V8, 420 horsepower, 460 foot pound of torque. By the way, 460 foot pound of torque in that diesel as well. And the new 2.7 liter engine produces more horsepower and torque than before as well. It's it's a great it's a great engine. Just not so much sure if I'm if I like it in the Trail Boss as much, but hey, teach their own. Now, that being said, there is something that's also relevant to the engines, and that is the interior. What I mean by that is, if you get the 2.7 liter engine, you can only get the bench seat model. If you get the 5.3, the 3 liter, or the 6.2, you're only going to get 
the bucket seat model. Why does that matter? Well, we're gonna find out when we go inside because when you get a bucket seat model, there's something majorly different inside this truck. But let's head out back here first. Five foot eight box, of course, this one's in. Spray and box liner back here. Of course, you have the power tailgate back here. This one's not the multiflex, of course, but multiflex, um, you know, is a pretty cool tailgate option. Power cable, or power outlet, pardon me, back here. There's a button inside the front that will turn that on. LED lights back here for the back. Tons of tie-downs, by the way. There's 12 to begin with, because there's three in every corner. Four times three, 12, right? And then you also have three along the front, three along the side, or the front here, sorry, the side here, and the side here where those grommets are, if you can see right there. Uh, and basically those can pop out to add more hooks, if you can believe it or not. Side door window in this one. They have added the black package, so normally this would not be black lettered in here, nor would these be black, nor would that be black. That would usually be chrome, chrome, and this would just, inside here would just be the body paint. So I really think it looks a lot better with that black package. That's just me. One of the things you can add, but they didn't on this one, you can also get black exhaust tips down there, okay? Now, this looks a little bit different. He's a setup to put the trailer cameras in here. So you have your outlet down there, Used to be used to have the other prong, the four prong um, uh, trailer lighting, but now that's changed because the way this one was ordered, it's got the surround vision camera in it, which is really kind of cool. By the way, you could not get the surround vision camera in the 2022 LTD, only in the refresh, which is what this one, of course, is. Now, keyless entry on driver passenger door, fortunately. I talk about this all the time, <laughs> not the rear doors, but whatever, it is what it is. This particular one has cloth interior. You cannot, or sorry, you can get leather in this. You can also get a sunroof, but this is not trimmed, of course, as you can see with either of those, but they are options in the 2022 Refresh Trail Boss. All weather liners are a must. We've got them in this one, and you have the USB, USB-C connections back here. Heated rear seats are not an option in the Trail Boss LT, of course, not in the custom Trail Boss either, because that's a step below this one. Um, surround vision camera, let me just show you. Camera's there. Not a camera back there, but you do have camera up there and then the camera right up in here, all right? So again, surround vision camera and this one is pretty cool. Now, remember when I was talking about the engine on the outside, depending on the engine you get, you can only get a certain seating configuration. So a 2.7 liter is only gonna get the bench seats. This one's a 5.3 and then of course, if you go to a 6.2 or a 3 liter, you're gonna get the um, bucket seats. Now, why is that a difference? Because there's a massive difference in this truck. If you didn't already know this, bucket seat models now have the electric precision shift for the 10-speed transmission, all right? so. This is your only choice if you want a Trail Boss LT with a three liter Dur uh, Duramax diesel, 6.2, or what we're seeing here right now, the 5.3. I actually really like it. It takes some getting used to. I've been a gym guy my whole life, and of course I'm used to the column shifter up there. That is no longer. However, by chance, you want that 2.7 liter, you will get the column shifter right here. Now, another little unique thing about this truck, um, that is different because of having this electric console shift, we're gonna talk about the big screen by the way in a minute, is the fact you have these paddle shifters. Now, that is because normally when you had the column shifter here, you had the selection, you can select the uh, the manual gear selection uh, on, that, on, the, uh, on, the, uh, on the arm there. That is not a choice down here, so now you have the paddle shifters up here. For when you're in that low range and you wanna select the gears all 10 speeds on your own. There's your door panel there, a little bit different design here for where the Bose stereo system is than what we had in the limited model. Um, of course, there's your auto track, four wheel drive system, four high, the four low. By the way, if you didn't already know this, these, these lights do some different things, of course. That is your fog lights. If you didn't know that, that's for the fog lights. This is a light that lights right here. A very bright spotlight that lights off your mirrors. Those aren't signals, by the way, those are spotlights. And that's where you do that right there. The jellyfish launcher, as we call it, that button right there, that of course will turn on that light up there, the lights in here, and something I love to talk about because for some reason salespeople like to tell you there's two cameras on the back of here. There is not. That is your backup camera right there. This is a pin light, which is tied into the other two lights I just showed you, which will light right down on the hitch right there, which is awesome if you're trying to back up to a trailer or, or hook on your trailer at night, whatever, right? Anyways, back inside though, this is a new redesign, all completely redesigned cluster here, screen and screen in front of you. That's a 12.3 inch, I believe. Um, color touch screen. Oh, this is gonna shut down on me. Let me get in here real quick. <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> so this screen in front of you is fully programmable and I love it because depending on what it is you like to look at when you're driving, you have the ability to change this side, to change this side to different things as well as the middle. Now, a lot, oh, it didn't shut off on me. Here we go, let's start it again. Now to show you what it can do, by the way, that's a new feature too. Buckle to buckle seatbelt to drive. Super annoying. I am somebody who wears my seatbelt every time I go and drive the vehicle on the road out there. But if I'm just moving it in the parking lot, I don't put the seatbelt on. It's a bit annoying. By the way, there is a way to turn that off in this screen right here, which we're going to get to in a second. Um, so anyway, just want to let you know that's a new feature. It can be disengaged. Whatever. I, I, I recommend wearing a seatbelt just, <laughs> just as a heads up. All right. That screen right there, as I mentioned, you can change. So if we go over here to settings, there's a display layout, as you can see, okay? That's where you can change how this is laid out. Now, the other thing though is really cool. If you go down, oh, sorry. Sorry, the uh, display layout is here, sorry. <laughs> if I could talk right. Um, this is where you can change the style of it. So you can, there's four different looks of this you can have. And then once you've chosen the look, that is where you can cho choose what is on either side, the lower gauges and so on, as you can see. So left side, right side, lower gauges, your info page, all that kind of stuff, right? So just a uh, really nice looking screen. Uh, looks great at nighttime. I wish I had it here at night to show you, but it looks great at night. Um, and it's just really easy to read and really user friendly as far as I'm concerned, at least maybe it's because I'm used to using the GM product, but it's a new thing and, and I like it. Heated steering wheel on this one, if it's equipped, I'm not sure. It is, it's working. Heated seats as well, are those equipped? They are, so heated seats and heated steering wheel are equipped in this one. You already know so, some trucks are coming with them, some are coming without. You will get into a truck, you might see those buttons there and you press it, they don't work. That means you are gonna get them, um, it's gonna just wait for the chips to come in, your dealership will retrofit them. That's just a heads up. All right, as far as the other new thing, I think it's pretty plain to see, we have this massive new 13.4 inch color touchscreen here. Um, it's a really great, clear looking screen. Your backup camera is built in here. Uh, by the way, the backup camera only takes up this much room. And I've watched, I've, I've, I've seen something from Jim. They're basically indicating that that is the most clear way they can do it. They say if they stretch out the backup camera to this whole screen, it is actually not as good as having it in the smaller screen. That's what they're saying. I, I actually kind of have to lean to the side of that does make a bit of sense because it would be pretty wide, right? So you have this here. Now, let me just show you that surround vision, surround vision camera. So when I put it in reverse, there is that. Look at this. You can shine right down on your hips. Oops, got my Siri going on to me. You can go off the sides of the vehicle. I mean, it's just, it's pretty cool. I really like the ability to have that um, surround vision. There's your trailer, there's your trailer lighting, all that kind of, or trailer lanes or, um, trailer lanes, trailer line or parking line. And then when you put it in reverse, you can show the whole uh, vehicle around you if you want it that way. Different ways you can set it up, but I really do like um, the surround vision camera. Again, it was not an option um, in previous models of this truck, but they've, they've brought it to this one, of course. Um, separate climate control is still here for your driver passenger. There's your trailer brake controller when equipped with it. Of course, we you know most of our trucks here, we do do that at Pro Chevrolet. Um, of course, there is the auto stop start button right there, so you can disengage that. Um, these will roll all the windows down. Again, I never used to get that. Where I live here in Canada, I'm like, why do we need to roll the four windows down in an emergency? I was very quickly corrected by um, my viewers in the South in Texas and California and Arizona. Jeff, we need that. We need to cool down the truck as much as possible. So there comes that button right there in order to do that um, with. Um, as far as I get as the screen, it's all Google integrated. As a heads up, you are always gonna get Google Maps in the truck. However, you have to have an active OnStar subscription with uh, data for it to work. So that'd be something you want to consider. Otherwise, of course, you can always use your um, uh, the data off your phone and you can use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. So just because this is equipped with Google doesn't mean you Apple users are left in the dark. You are, and, or, or, or you Google users, you're still gonna have the ability, uh, pardon me to have this, hit the home button here, to have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto you can kind of see them faded out there um, in the vehicle. All right, so again, massive difference there. I like this kind of piano black look that they've got surrounding here. I think that looks really sharp. Uh, one of the complaints I've heard um, is these are really reflecting the sun. And I heard uh, somebody make a great suggestion, get a little bit of window tint. Somebody you know does window tint and just tint that if it is really bothering you and that'll actually block it out, block it out. And, and it won't look out of place because everything is kind of, you know, else up here is blocked. You got this kind of, I don't know what it's like a carbon fiber slash wood uh, trim there. Again, here's our cloth seats. Lots of storage on here. Actually, I just had my drone in there. Uh, and the wireless charging is in a new spot. 
which I really like. My phone's in there, otherwise I'd show you, but you can just set your wireless charging right in there. It doesn't roll around, works very well. Um, and of course you have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so you don't need it to be plugged in in order for it to work. Um, so 2022 refreshed Chevy Trail Boss, 2LT, sand dune metallic. What a great looking truck. At least I think so. As always, thanks for watching. Stay tuned when I compare this to the 2022 Limited on another video coming up. Cheers.